Hi friends, this is Mohammed Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorials. In this video, I will be explaining about inline functions. So let us write a program to see how an inline function works. So we will begin with some integer, say integer say we see and in our public section we will be having some functions like, uh, okay let's make a program for finding these squares and uh, cube of a number so how we do that first we'll create an uh, function saying square which will be taking one uh, argument from the user or a value from the user then we'll return the square of that number oops Again, we need another function for uh, finding the cube. Again, we'll take one value from the user. Let's define this function. We'll return the x into x into x. Okay. Now, this is all we need in our class. Now, in our main section, we'll make an object of our class say obj and we will need one variable say a will output to the user enter the number ok so he is gonna enter a number which we will be taking and will be showing him the square and the cube of that number we will save that number in a then what we will do will print out object dot square of the number given by the user so what is the number given by user that is a because we are storing the number given by user in a so we'll pass a to our function square similarly we'll do it for object dot cube again we'll send a to it then we'll end our program using a get ch okay, let's do it some more things over here now backslash n so uh, now let's see if our program works let's save it and uh, compile now enter a number let's type 2 square of 2 is 4 and the cube is 8 that's right so now let's see how our program works till here I guess you people know what we did we are uh, creating an object for our class name test you can see our class name is test over here so we create an object as obj to our class test now we are creating a variable as int a now we are displaying to the user to enter a number and then whenever he enters a number we are storing that number in a suppose it he suppose he, uh, he has given 2 just like in our previous example we'll write 2 over here to explain you the whole program then we are what we are calling is we are printing the object and then we are calling the square function with the value given by a in this case it's 2 so whenever you do this object dot square with the parameters you are invoking the function with the name square and you are passing a value given by user that is a but then in, in this case it's 2 then your compiler will go and read this function int square you'll find where uh, where is your uh, square function and it will read out this function and what he will do in place of a from there you pass 2 so your 2 will come over here and then here in return x into x it will do 2 into 2 and then as the name suggests after doing 2 into 2 you will get the value as 4 and it will return it to the integer right 
so 4 is an integer value and uh, it will be returned to your function after this function ends so what we got out of this function is the value 4 so that 4 value will be printed because of this thing we are calling the function with the argument so this is how you get the value 4 similarly we get the value of cube the same thing nothing new so now let's make everything like earlier and uh, everything goes same with your uh, cube function and uh, till now you might have seen functions saying void but now we have used int right so what's the difference between void and int or float the difference between them when you type int the function should return a value like this it can return uh, your function can return 0 it can return 1 it can return 2 it can return anything okay so it should return a value when your uh, return type is int float or anything else other than void void means it won't return anything so you don't have to write this line you can skip it out so let us change our uh, int function to a void function what I'll do I'll print out x into x okay well, let's give some string to make it more uh, user friendly uh, square square of the number is okay it will be x into x as you all know and our this function will be as it is we will not change it but will change the way we have the call this thing we'll say object dot square a everything is similar we had not changed anything except the return type and the statement or the code which we wrote in the function and the method to call your function now let's see if it runs fine uh, got an error where uh, let's see again close it now let's run this thing again your program works fine suppose if I give the number as 2 the square of the number is 4 and 8 is your cube right so your function works completely fine I can give one more line over here the cube is let's, think. Now let's run it say 3 the cube is oh backslash and backslash and use it backslash and now run it four the square of the number is sixteen the cube is sixty four okay uh, okay the square we gave it on the wrong place we should give it over here sorry for that now let's see if it works fine let's say 5 the square of the number is 25 the cube is 125 so it works fine so till now we have seen about functions with the return types but we have not seen anything about the inline function so what is an inline function well let's make this function inline by adding this thing now this thing is known as an inline function that's it just adding this one word makes your function inline so what's the difference between your normal function and an inline function whenever you write this word or keyword in in, uh, in front of any function as inline then what happens is whenever you call this function suppose here we are defining your cube function so and your cube function is an inline function so here you are calling your cube function the argument a you know how you are you know how the value is passed from cube the called function cube to the definition of the function cube so what happens is whenever you call this thing your compiler will copy all of this code and it will paste it in place of where you have called it so it will be like this your cube parenthesis a 
will be replaced by the whole code of your function so this is how an inline function works so what's the use of it the use of it is simple as you know when a, if you call this function square a your compiler has to go back and he has to search for the function with the name square so if you use an inline function and your compiler will write this function wherever you are calling that function so it reduces the time used by your uh, program to execute and it uh, increases in increases the efficiency of your program it takes less time and it does your uh, uh, any task very fast so whenever you use an inline function you should be careful that the code written inside it like here we are having a small bit of code the code written inside it should not be very long to make it complicated the code should be small because inline function is written everywhere so it might affect your uh, memory usage if you use big programs or uh, if you give long functions as your inline functions so remember when you are verifying or uh, suggesting the compiler as this function is an inline function you should be very careful that the function should have this part of coding and your compi you are by giving this inline keyword you are suggesting your compiler to copy this thing to whenever wherever it is called okay you are suggesting your compiler to do this you are not ordering him you are just suggesting your compiler to do this thing so you cannot see the difference between a normal function and an inline function if you are doing it for one or two time the difference can be observed if you are calling a s an inline function for around lakhs of times when you compare it with any other normal function like our square function the time taken by this function will be more than the time taken by this function but for that you have to call your function around lakhs of times to see the difference if you call it for a thousand times also it won't make a big difference you have to call this function many 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 times to see the time difference between a normal function and an inline function so that was it regarding the inline functions hope you liked our video and uh, you understood the program thanks for watching